All right, guys. I'm sorry if it's a little windy. I'm recording this through my headphones down in Florida. A dad wanted to go down to Florida. More of a stay at home, well, not stay at home, more of a stay in state type dude, but it was our last time coming down here and I figured, you know what? I'll come down with him. We'll both enjoy our time relaxing in the sunshine state during February. But with that being said, I know why people call new demolition derby cars junk, or any car, in fact, that they don't like junk. The big reason why they call it junk is because A, they have seen a bad impression of that car. They've seen it in today's world, not 15 years from now. And what I mean by this is 15 years from now, that car that you think is junk could be good. Example, people thought back, I think back in the 90s that uh, fuel injected cars were going to be shit. They thought they were going to ruin the sport. But in fact, we got W bodies. We got all bunch of stuff that are running with V8s that are kicking ass. Now, with this being said, I'm not saying that, you know, 2018 Honda Civics are going to be kicking W bodies' asses. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying by the future that the cars today will have their time. 2006 Impala, aluminum spindles, 20 years from now, we're going to be running cars like that together. So, don't get me wrong, cars now, they might seem junk, but it's not their time yet. It's not their time to shine, and eventually, it will be, and eventually, it'll be great. Right now, in this moment, we're in an era, and that era is for W bodies and Camrys. And maybe a few Hondas, because I know there's some Honda guys out there. But it's an error. And we need to stop thinking about now and think about 10 years from now. Because if we don't, these electric cars, these fuel efficient cars, all this shit is going to ruin our sport. And we need to think about ways to get around those obstacles. A good example of this is Zach's workshop and people like that. Oh, there's a little lizard right there. That's fucking awesome. There's a bird back there eating them. Uh, anyways, a good example of this is Zach's workshop. Okay? Not just Zach's workshop, because I don't think he totally just did this, but people who are making standalone harnesses for Camrys, that's fucking awesome. That, that's part of being part of the future. Simplifying these cars that have electronics, that's great. And people should start doing that shit with more cars. Next thing I want to see, not just because I'm a V6 fan, but V6 Camrys, I want to see them have a simplified harness or um, any new car. I've seen, I posted this video about, um, let me sit down here for a second. I posted this video about a, um, not posted a video, I posted something on Facebook about uh, Impalis, the 2006 to 2012 style of Impalas. And I got called out because they're all junk. And everybody was ganging up on me about how much they're junk and how much only time they do good is when they put alumina parts in them. Not aluminum, alumina. Which could be true and actually probably is true because aluminum in demolition derbies isn't good. But if that's the case, why isn't anybody making more alumina parts? I mean, eventually we're going to run out of that shit. Um, but does that still make the car junk? I mean, if we're using, if we're Frankenstein, Frankenstein a car, okay, we're putting different parts in that car, does that make that car junk? No, makes the car better. So would you still call a 2006 junk? I wouldn't. I don't know, just something to think about, I guess. Um, something to think about. 
I'm running the 2001 Camry this year. It ought to be nice. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I was I was cruising around, not cruising around, but driving around in the uh, 2017, 2018 uh, Nissan Altima. And to be honest with you, the interior of it seems pretty, seems very similar to any other car that we demo now. Um, the base model, of course. If you start getting up there with the touchscreens and stuff, then it starts getting tricky. But this is the base model, and it's nothing, nothing crazy. I didn't look under the hood, and I bet if I did, my statement would change. But I don't want to look under the hood. I want to just... Keep on keeping on. But I'm going to end this video. Just something to think about for you guys. And basically the summary of this is new cars may be junk now, but they don't have their time. They will have their time. It's just not right now. The time is not right now. Right now it's the Camry time and the Illumina time. It is that era for demolition derbies. And eventually we will get there. And eventually we will evolve. And eventually we will be doing stuff like this. Everything has to come to an end, even our sport of demolition derby, but I don't think we should, I don't think that should be anytime soon, and I don't think, I don't think we should, should quit, if you know what I mean. I don't think we should stop trying. I don't think we should lay down when we, we think, oh, this car is junk. Only time a car is junk for me is if within one hit, it's done. And then it's, then it's junk. But if there's a way to prevent it from getting the one hit and done, yes, it may be junk stock, but if you put a few parts in it, then it's not junk. That's the way you should word it. You shouldn't just automatically label the whole car junk. You could say, oh, the car stock is junk. There's a B there. That's just the way I look at it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, subscribe. More Derby videos coming up, hopefully soon. I know I've been doing a lot of the RC stuff. We're going to get out of that soon. It's derby season, man. It's definitely derby season soon. See you guys later.